Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. Update on our storm risk for today, in particular for Sunday, the risk for severe storms possible in the afternoon and kind of in this typical summer pattern. If you've been outside at all, you know how hazy, hot, and humid it is across the eastern half of the country. We've got a front to the west. We're kind of in an area of just where we're getting air mass thunderstorms. And what's interesting note right here is what's going on here off the east coast. You can see that little swirl there with the low pressure system. Just caught my eye, but uh, nothing to worry about right now. But, you know, getting in July and August, you start watching those things over the Atlantic. Our concern today is going to be some pop-up storms. In fact, we've had a couple pop up already here in Anson and Richmond County. These are pushing off to the east. So um, already seeing some development today, which tells you the atmosphere is what we call uncapped. It's set up for some strong storms. I'm going to turn off the satellite imagery first here and kind of show you the day one severe weather outlook. You can see that risk to our west, the low to medium risk. As we go into tomorrow, you'll see that a big chunk of our area is in the low to medium risk for strong to severe storms. Not off the charts, damaging wind and hail is our primary concern. And as we go into Monday, um, you could see the potential there as well along the coast. So yeah, we're getting into kind of a stormy pattern here um, as we go through the next couple of days. So let's break this down looking at our future cast because I think what's going to happen is the heat and humidity is here. You know that, you felt it, but what's heading in this front and a little bit of cooler air aloft is going to help produce some scattered strong storms for your Sunday. All right, first things first, we'll start with your Saturday weather. We'll go into the afternoon hours. Starting around two o'clock, I do expect to see some scattered storms. And this makes sense. We've got some clouds over us right now. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly just briefly turn on the satellite imagery. And the reason I'm showing the satellite imagery, you see these clouds and these storms right now, what we're getting is a differential heating boundary. And what that is, is underneath the clouds, the air is cool. Underneath the sunshine, it's hot. So it's really hot right here. And it's really cool where the clouds are. So along the edges, you get what amounts to like a mini cool front. We call that differential heating. Just means some areas get hotter and cooler than others. Sometimes in this type of atmosphere, that is enough to kick off scattered storms. And you could see that's what's going to happen this afternoon. So two, three o'clock, we could see some strong storms develop and even into the evening hours. So these are more the what I call air mass thunderstorms popping up in the heating of the day. As we go into the overnight, those storms to the west are going to make a run at us into the morning hours. They will likely fall apart. But what they will do is when they fall apart, they leave behind what is called an outflow boundary. This outflow boundary is mini cool front just like that differential heating boundary and in the summertime it is so hot and humid there's so much fuel for storms if you get just the slightest spark you get thunderstorms and that's why these type of setups tend to kick off scattered storms so by one two o'clock tomorrow we could see scattered storms develop but i really think it's going to be after three o'clock that things start to go gangbusters into the eastern part of the, the state and then another wave moves in from the west so you can see as the day goes on the chance for storms is really going to perk up if anything the first half of the day might be pretty stable because of those dying storms in the morning they might keep a cap on everything until we get into the afternoon so oh, i can't rule out an early storm on sunday i really think it's going to be after two three o'clock that things crank up and then we could see another wave develop late tomorrow night as that main front kind of pushes in so that's why you see on Monday, we wake up Monday morning, that front is pushing to the coast. Remember I showed you the Monday severe weather out, out, outlook there? That's where you'd see that risk. So let me quickly show you that. We'll go back to the, back this up to tomorrow. We'll go to tomorrow afternoon, right there. I'm gonna put on tomorrow's severe weather risk. There you go, kind of lines up, right? Now let's go into Sunday, or Monday, excuse me. Monday, that secondary wave comes in, probably late tomorrow into Monday, starts heading towards the coast, and you'll see day three right there because obviously heat and humidity will be cranked up, and we've got this kind of front heading in from the west. So be prepared. The next uh, 24 to 36 hours should be pretty active here in the Carolinas. I'll loop this 48-hour future cast. Kind of shows you scattered storms today, wave of storms tomorrow afternoon, and possibly again on Monday morning.